you welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is lizzie and i run the galactic gumdrop channel today i am reviewing another anime and i'm gonna be probably roasting the shit out of this anime so <laughs> uh, a huge you know no offense to anyone who actually likes this anime but uh for those of you who haven't seen or heard of this anime it is called hypnosis mike division rap battle Rhyme anima? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's an, it's an anime about rap battles. Um, get more into that a little bit, but if this is an anime you really like, I apologize because let me tell you, I don't like it. No. No. Not good. Not good. Alright, so let's talk about this anime. So this anime is uh, done as part of like a mixed media thing that they're doing. So I think originally this was just like music. Uh, associated with rap battles and then it was uh, turned into like a phone a mobile game and then like manga and then they finally made an anime adaptation so it must have some popularity somewhere along that line not really quite sure where I didn't look into any of the previous sources uh, just this anime this anime aired in the fall of 2020 by studio a1 pictures and it had 13 episodes Studio A1 Pictures has done a lot of big name works like Fairy Tale, Black Butler, Darling in the Franks, and SAO. So uh, they definitely have good quality as far as animation goes and have been able to make some pretty popular anime out there. Uh, yeah, this though, this is not one of them, okay? This is not one of them. The synopsis is that the government gets taken over by an all-female group and they're against violence so they ban things like guns and other weapons i don't know they're like no no guns no weapons the only thing that people can use to fight is supposedly microphones these hypnosis mics which allow the user to I guess sing or rap, but I guess it's just rapping. I don't know, nobody sings, just rapping. And then their rap is able to physically harm, like hurt the brain and physically harm uh, their opponent. I guess depending on how good they are or whatnot. And, and supposedly there's some mics that are like secretly better than others and that can like amplify the, the, the user's ability. Uh, yeah, I mean, anime has been able to make some really weird circumstances work. Uh, this one, though, th this one fell a little short. So right off the bat, they explain that this happens, and then immediately they just start rapid fire introducing you to characters, like, and uh, they're all guys. I almost think of this as like a male idol anime. It d It's technically not classified as an idol genre but it definitely has that feel because they have like each of the stereotypical characters they all perform and uh they also do like the 3d like animation when they're performing so it's like okay is this this is an idol anime isn't it um which i'm not gonna bash on idol anime i haven't really seen a lot uh the one i have seen is zombie land saga i really liked it so I'm not opposed to idol anime, but that's not what I was expecting when I walked into this. I I was thinking he was going to be like rap. I mean, like good rap. I don't know. There's been lots of good rap in anime. Uh, take like Sham Samurai Champloo uh, opening and that. That's freaking awesome. Uh, the raps in Devilman Crybaby. Really good. So there's like good, good raps in anime. Like it's not, it's not unheard of or like, you know wasn't unreasonable. I was like, okay, I'm going into this, getting some good rap anime. Instead, I got like a weird idol anime with some subpar rap and really, really poor plot and character development. Um, if there was any development, because I want to say there wasn't. However, I only got through three of the 13 episodes. I couldn't, I had to drop it. I couldn't even get past that because... It was just, it was just not good. 
So I know I'm bouncing all over the place, but yeah. So they just start rapid fire introducing you to characters. They have a, a dude for each possible stereotypical, okay? They have like a really like cutesy pink haired guy. They got like the older like gentleman doctor. They have like the I'm gonna fucking step on you with my glasses. They got the um a gambler, I guess, some guy who's just an overworked office worker. They've just got, like, your, I don't know, like, little brother characters. I guess they're supposed to be gangsters. There's, like, some military dude. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like, a broad spectrum of guys. And their character design is actually kind of nice. Uh, I think each of them definitely looks unique. I like their eye color. A lot of the colors are flashy with their hair, or their outfits. So it makes them eye-catching. You're like, ah yes, these are main characters. <laughs> there is no question doubt. But it's like they introduce all 12 characters that are the main ones in the first episode. And that's like a lot to me. I'm like, that's that's too much. Like, why are you rushing it? Why why are we rushing to introduce all these characters? A. B, they didn't even do it in like a graceful way. Cause I'm like, okay, could you introduce a lot of characters in an episode? Sure, sure, I'm sure it's happened. I'm sure it works fine. They did not do it very gracefully, okay? It was like, here's this group, here's this group, here's this group, here's this group. Yeah. So let me introduce you to the groups. The first group that we have here is Bust a Nut. Then we have a uh, Mad Step On Me crew, followed up by Fling Pussy and Man Eaters. Okay, those are your groups. That's what we're gonna call them. That's basically what they are. Each of these groups gets a little segment in the first episode where they battle somebody. Uh, here's the funny thing about their, their rap battles that they're battling with these random strangers that we don't care about. As they're supposedly criminals, but hmm, the enemies never sing so far. I got three episodes in, and there was never an opponent singing back. It was just the main groups immediately start singing and beat the shit out of the group that they're, they're the bad guys, whatever, the people they're facing. So, I'm like, wow, a lot of uh, real heavy battle going on here. I feel super suspenseful. Then we get to the rapping itself. And should have got a clue that the opening was not straight fire, that the rest of it was probably not gonna be straight fire either. It's not, none of it's fire, nothing. The raps are really cheesy. Um, Japanese is not my main language. I, I don't know Japanese, I'm not gonna pretend I do. I listen to some Japanese music, most of it's from anime. So, I mean, c can I really say, is it horrible or not? But I did not enjoy it. And I do enjoy some Japanese music and rap music some Japanese rap music I enjoy. This I did not enjoy. This was just making you, your ears bleed. I was like, wow. It's like some stupid cheesy lines about like, come here, sweet heart. I don't know. Fucking, uh. It's like, uh, they're just like describing themselves or like, I don't know. It's just not good. It's not good. And then you get this 3D animation on top of it, which works in some cases. It works, I think, fine in the idol anime, at least the one that I've seen. It was fine. But it's just, it's just a little, it's a little awkward, okay? I'm like, I feel like something crazy is supposed to be happening, but like, it's not, it's not really crazy, okay? It's just like, this horrible rap music and then these people are facing them being like, oh, oh, you know what? That's probably why they're, <laughs> they're dying because it's so horrible that they just can't even stand to listen to it anymore. So, can't blame them there. That's what happens in the first episode. You get introduced to the four groups and the 12 characters, rapid fire. Uh, then you get to the second episode and you're like, okay, well, we've been introduced to the characters, now what? Now, I think the groups each get their own, like, actual segment, okay? So the first group that gets the segment is the uh, Buster Nut group, okay? The Buster Bros, whatever you wanna call them. <laughs> I don't know, the main guy of the group just so happens to be in a diner that's getting robbed. And, um, you know what, I'm just gonna do a little, little scene cover over right now so you can watch that, see what I mean. Freeze! Huh? Nobody make a fucking move. Don't come any closer or this microphone gets shoved up her nostril. An illegal mic. 
Hey, buddy, you got nowhere to run. Why don't you just drop the mic and turn yourself in? Heh heh heh. Take a look at this. I got microphones strapped to my belt. You know what that means. If they get struck by the vibes from all these mics, these people's heads are gonna blow right off. Holy shit, this guy's crazy. Y'all are my hostages now. You're gonna do exactly what I say, bitches. So yeah, he, uh, he uses microphones to hold a hostage. <laughs> and uses microphones to pretend like, I guess they're, he's just like a suicide bomber? Like, the fuck? <laughs> okay. It, I don't know. Me and my brother were just like laughing our asses off when we watched this. It was, it was kind of funny. This is probably the best part of the whole thing. And, and just because it was so stupid. Like, just the picture. Like, the police are like taking out their weapon. It's like a fucking microphone. And it's like, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. This microphone's it's like, no, okay. And that was one thing that I found was a little bit of a flaw in their, their story. Because they're like, okay, they got rid of all these weapons, but... In the first episode with the military guy, he like blew up the road with some explosives. I'm like, so you have explosives. So you can, like this, this guy could have actually just used like real grenades or bombs or whatever, strapped himself to walk into this. Why did he use microphones? <laughs> so then I'm like, well, then they didn't get rid of all the weapons. I don't know. And then like in the third episode, which is the last one I watched, which I just sadly sat through. There's a guy that, that that gets murdered, and he gets murdered because he was strangled by someone's tie. And so I'm just like... Uh... <laughs> like, okay, there's, there's lots of ways to kill people. I don't know. I'm like... And then I'm like, are these people dead that they're killing with the microphones, or are they just passed out? I guess they're not dead. They must not be, because the police arrest them afterwards. So they're just, like, knocking them out. But then it's just like... There's other- you can still kill people in this world. I don't know. It's like, what was the point of getting rid of all- I don't know. Isn't the point supposed to be to, like, focus on the microphones and then yet people are dying via other reasons? I think it was a premise that was gonna be really hard to make work in the first place. And the fact that this is not a very good quality plot and characters does not- does not help. The dialogue is really dry between the characters. Uh, honestly, it kind of feels like, as far as dialogue goes, that you're almost watching like multiple different shows in one show. So it's really just hard to like, it's really hard to like get into it. Cause you're like, what am I watching? Like, what am I supposed to be taking away from half these conversations? Like, they seem pointless. They're just like, ah, go fix yourself. Don't. Think about what you did, don't kill people, or whatever, and she's like, ah yes, you've been through some hard shit, haven't you? I don't know, I'm like, what? Or like, they're like, oh, I need money, <laughs> I gambled all my money, wait, please help me, like, we'll just go street perform, I'm like, okay, and then, I don't know, and the kid's like, I invited you here because I just wanted you to hang out with me, I'm like, I, I don't know, like, I don't know what's happening, okay, there's just too much. It's too much too soon and not very well, like, organized into a proper, like, plot that's moving forward. Could it have gotten immensely better after episode three? Possibly. But I felt like the chances were going to be very slim. And usually I think you can give it a three episode rule and if it's not really sinking in after three episodes, it's a bye bye As far as the animation itself goes, it wasn't terrible. Again, very flashy, character designs were good. That was probably the best thing about the show character design itself and the the animation that was fine but everything else was just got awful and I think there was potential you could make a good rap anime I could see that happening it could be baller I mean there's plenty of anime music music anime whatever it is genre why not make an app a rap one but don't make it like this so looking at the rankings over on my anime list this anime was rated uh, about 6.78 so Really not that low. <laughs> I'm a little shocked. It should be... It should be lower, in my opinion. <clears throat> I mean, I feel like most of the people that in the comments are like, yeah, I understand that this is bad. I mean, okay, this person rated this anime a, t a 10 out of 10 on my anime list. And they were like... 
Believe it or not, I really want to say this. Fuck the story and its plot. Fuck character development. All you absolutely are required to tune into is the bat fucking shit, balls to the wall, ear wrapping insanity of banger songs. Uh, no. I did not think these were banger songs. Sorry. They were not good. But most of the people admitted that this was not a great anime, yet still gave it uh, decently high ratings. What did I rate it? I rated it a 1 out of 10. Okay, if it's bad enough that I can't even get past 3 episodes, uh, even though it's 13 episodes show, and it um, doesn't even deliver on its main thing, for, you know, the rap, I'm like, yeah, no. No. You know? I mean, if this was, like, supposed to be... I guess hot guy fan service, maybe, but that's not why I clicked on this <laughs> show. <laughs> we clicked on it for the rap, so all right, maybe that was our mistake. But yeah, that was my rating for the show, one out of ten. Uh, do not recommend watching it. If this is a show that you really like, power to you. You know, I'm not gonna say you have shit taste. I'm not gonna say don't watch it. I'm not gonna say don't like it or promote it. I'm just going to say my opinion, which is, I don't like it. I don't want to ever watch it again. I wouldn't recommend anyone going through this suffering. There's much better shows out there. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. <laughs> I know that this has been more of a roast fest than it has been like a, a review. But I promise that not all of my reviews are like this. Just when they are really that bad. So please like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to support my content, and uh, comment below anything you want to say about this show, or you can also give me recommendations for anime to watch. Uh, yeah, because I do take recs. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all of my socials are linked below as well. Thanks again for watching. Have a great rest of your day.